we're getting robbed. All that time that we spend wondering, what if? It's robbing us. It's robbing our mental capacity, our emotional stability, our calm mind, our ability to rest. It's robbing our likelihood to take risks, to laugh, to have fun, to be silly. It's all getting robbed. We all have those what if questions in our minds. What if nobody talks to me? What if somebody finds out how much I'm struggling? What if I never find someone to be in a relationship with? What if I look awkward? What if I fail? What if people don't click like? What if I don't get invited? What if I don't check my phone and I miss something? It's overwhelming, isn't it? Makes your stomach hurt, your mind race. We're putting an extraordinary amount of pressure on ourselves. And I want you to know these two things. And I hope that these two things can liberate you from this cycle. First, everyone is thinking those things. You're not alone. Literally everyone has those thoughts running through their minds, some more than others. But recent studies show so many people are struggling with these anxious what-if thoughts and they feel like it's limiting what they can do. It's like everyone's walking around with this voice in their head, keeping it a secret from everyone else who's walking around with that voice. You are not alone. Second, you have the power to make it better. There's this simple quote that I love. Nothing changes if nothing changes. Think about that. If you don't like where your life is or what you're going through, but you continue with the same actions every day, nothing will change. No cure to what you're feeling will drop out of the sky. Don't wait for someone to come and rescue you you need to start building mental strength. It's scary, I know. But you know what scares me even more? The thought of being unhappy with where I am and feeling like I'll be in the exact same place a year from now. That's scary. So start building. You need to look at the behaviors that are contributing to your feelings. What's contributing to those what ifs for you and get to the business of changing them so you can have a different outcome. You need to put those what ifs to rest and change your narrative. You don't find better mental health. You build it. So start building. Build mental strength. Take responsibility for building a better future for yourself. Take action. Get help, get to work, put in the work you need to make your situation better because nothing changes if nothing changes. Look at your life, your habits, your mindset and start to build. It's scary, I know. You'll need courage, but lots of things in life take courage. Nelson Mandela said that courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the triumph over it. You need to triumph over these fears to build your mental strength. Here's how we'll do it. Stop living your life through a screen. Get up. Literally, get up after you listen to this and go and do something. Move away from the idea that everyone else's life on social media is so great. Because we all have difficulties, struggles, fears, awkwardness, but we don't post them. You don't see those, you only see your own. Stop living through a screen. Understand that comparing yourself to others is not helpful. It's part of the problem. So what if you stopped comparing yourself to others? Next, have more than one social circle. School, work, church, neighborhood, childhood friends. We were meant to be in community. And if you have more than one circle of friends, you'll be less likely to feel like toxic people have power over you. So branch out. I know that part is scary, but it's so helpful. What if you made the move to meet somebody new instead of waiting for them to come and meet you? Have a gratitude practice. Gratitude breeds gratitude, I promise you. 
if you start to look for things to be grateful for, you will see more things to be grateful for. You'll see them, you'll create them, and you'll attract them to you. What you believe about your life is what will start to unfold around you. So say thank you. Say thank you for life. Say thank you for the love you have in your life, for the air you breathe, for the food you eat, for the water you drink, for the peace you experience, for the birds and for the mountains. Look for it and you will see it. Be thankful for each day. And start to visualize the life you want to create. Start to believe you can create it. Nobody will believe in your dreams if you don't believe in them yourself. So wrap yourself in that belief. Wrap yourself in hope every day. Wrap yourself in faith every day. Wrap yourself in gratitude because nothing changes if nothing changes. Make those changes that will move you towards the life that you want to create. Mental strength. A strong mindset. These are not bought, inherited, or given to you. You need to build them. So let's start building. Change those what ifs and stop allowing that question to rob you. So what if you put down your phone and started living without worrying about what everyone else is doing? What if you stepped out of your comfort zone to meet new people? What if you started to focus your life on helping others? What if you started to become a contributor instead of a consumer? What if you made sleep and rest a priority? What if you stopped looking at your phone at 8 p.m. because you know that it's good for you? And what if you started to fill your heart with gratitude instead of filling your mind with worries? You are not weak and you are not alone. But if nothing changes, nothing changes. So change, start to build mental strength and ask yourself, Am I ready to take back control of my time and my thoughts? Because the way I see it, you only have one last what if question that you need to answer right now. What if I stopped worrying so much about life and just started living it?